may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. I want to get on earlier, but like I said, I'm still in recovery, trying to get to get better. I've been resting and I'm starting to feel a lot better than I did. It's been a rough week. I had to stay away from the patients I take care of because of all this, because I don't want to give them all this junk. But I am starting to feel a lot better. I hope everybody out there is having a good day. Make sure you still keep all the people there in North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Florida, all in your prayers. All the reports I'm getting right now and every, the videos I'm seeing is like nothing I've ever seen. I'm going to be honest with you. I know I say it a lot, but it's just amazing how bad the damage is there. It's totally biblical. Totally biblical. Never seen that extent of flooding in my life. Never. There, especially there at Chimney Rock, there is just absolutely no roads. Now they did finally. The government's finally got some helicopters there trying to get them some stuff. But even that, they're saying it's a mess. But the government let the American people down once again. That's what I told you. The government's not coming to save you. They don't care how many of us die. They just don't. And if this don't prove it to people, don't ever figure it out. Because people there are still stuck in their homes and still can't get out. And there's people there trying to rescue them, and they don't want them to rescue them. I mean, I'm telling you, it's evil is everywhere. It truly is. Early this morning, Israel hit a Russian base in Syria. So the escalation there, you just wait for it. It's coming. So don't take your eyes off the sky. I know people are telling you, you're looking at Feast of Trumpets and all that stuff. They do it every year. I always tell you, keep your eye on the sky all the time, not specific dates. I've said it over and over and over. That's why we don't do it here. Because people tell you it's going to be a certain time, and that's just usually not the way it's going to go. I don't think it's the way it's going to go at all. It could happen today at 415. We don't know. But what we're watching is the California coastline. It is still moving. It is still shaking. We have boots on the ground there. They're still saying that there's a lot of movement. Even Shelly, Sister Shelly, had movement at her house, and that never happens there. So we're watching it. <coughs> and there is a, it's one of the signs that we're, we've been wa waiting for for a while, actually. It's what happens in California, because we know it's a big, big play with this. But what I want to warn you about more than anything this morning, I want you to pay attention. Listen, we have all these watchers telling you, look at these specific days and it don't happen. But this is what I'm going to tell you. We're getting close to November. Now, every dream I've ever had has warned me that a disaster happens in October. Look for a disaster. It's coming. <clears throat> it is truly, truly coming. And I've waited every October to see when it's going to fall. And I do believe it's going to be this one that it's going to fall. Too many things, too many indicators. We're seeing too many crazy things in the sky and what's happening over there in the Middle East. And I'm going to tell you why. Now stay with me here. Now, a lot of people don't like to bring this stuff and up, and I'm one of them because they could kick me off here. <coughs> but I'm going to stress this once again. What I'm seeing that we've sent over there in the Middle East does not add up to what a protected Israel. It just doesn't. 
I don't think they're there to protect Israel. I think they're there for a nefarious reason. I do. I believe they've put those things in play because of Russia. I don't think I'm wrong either. Could be, but I don't think so. We've seen enough firepower over there, including two nuclear subs. That's not to protect Israel. If you think this country wants to protect Israel, you're crazy. They don't. The Biden administration does not have any love for Israel whatsoever. They're playing ball right now because it's election time. That's it. That is it. And they might have something else that they want from Israel. But right now, we're trying to control Israel and tell them what they can and can't do, just like Biden said this morning. Israel won't attack because if I say they're not going to attack, they're not going to attack. That's how cocky they are that they control Israel. I hate to tell them. They're about to find out the hard way. They don't. But there, let's go back to the Russian thing. We've sent three aircraft carriers over there. It's just too much firepower for a little place called Iran. Sorry, just is. Makes no sense. Now, if you remember a couple of months back, there was some strikes up on Russia's early uh, nuclear defense radars. There's no way Ukraine could have done it, and they know that. We're not that stupid. Now, people that read the news, and they'll believe that because they don't care. But what we're seeing is that we've moved all of our defense capabilities and offensive capabilities right where those radar detectors for nuclear strikes was eliminated. That's kind of curious. Hmm, coincidence? No. I've said it all along. They don't want November to happen. I think everybody knows that. And the reason why we do this, we've had so many confirmations in the past six, eight months about something happening really bad before November. Now, we've watched them, and it's, it's hard to find, and I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to lie. If you don't do what we do, like a Sister Shelley, a Larissa, an Amanda, a Christy, that's constantly digging through everything to find what these people are up to so we can warn you, you ain't going to find it. But everything we've seen, even through movies and songs and everything, they're indicating that they're going to do something before November. And even NATO is admitting to it that they don't want November to come to pass. They don't want no election. They don't. And that's why we keep saying and we keep letting you know that something nefarious is at play here. And we're warning you. That's why the rapture of the church is coming because God knows what they're doing too. But they have a plan. And we don't know exactly what it is, but I think it is, is to keep November from happening, what everybody thinks will happen. Now, we could be wrong. Go to God and see what God tells you about it and have it confirmed. But we're seeing a lot of evidence of it. And like I said, we could always have things wrong. But the thing is, when it comes to all the evidence that's building towards it, it's something we should warn you about. That it's coming. That's how we know the rapture is so close with what's happening with Israel. We're still waiting on them to do their counter strike against Iran, and then Iran's going to do a counter strike against them. And it's back and forth to it pulls everybody into this. How do I know that? It's in Daniel. This is what's happening right now. So those who think, well, okay, the rapture ain't going to happen. This, uh, they said it was going to be this. Quit listening to people. Okay, that's your first mistake. You go to God, not people. I've said this all along. People was like, I'm so disheartened. They said, listen, if you listen to anybody tells you it's going to be on a certain day, you better watch out. I'm telling you. Because that's just not the way this is going to work. I have said this many times. It's, it even catches me off guard, and I'm watching 24 hours a day. I've already seen it. It's going to happen when you least expect it. It's not going to be, it's not going to be put out there for that certain day. It's not going to. Okay, we know we're in the time. How do we know that? Because of Israel. They're surrounded on seven fronts. A mirror even actually admits to that, that they are surrounded on seven fronts. And that's why we're watching it. Now, Erdogan, Turkey's president, you got to watch him because he is right now trying to build a coalition against Israel. He's NATO. This is causing a lot of trouble inside of NATO itself. We're seeing a breakdown of alliances and everything else all over the world, including the bank system failing here in America and abroad. 
And I do believe they're going to try since this week. What did they do? They went past the digital currency at the UN, one world government, one world digital currency. And yes, they did pass that. There's people on here now saying, well, fact checkers, fact checkers. If, it, if a fact checker gets a hold of it, you might as well know it's a lie. Because these people, all they do is lie. These people have been lying to us for so long, you can't believe anything that comes out of our government's mouth. They lie about everything. If you think 2020 wasn't planned, you're, you're oblivious to what's really going on outside. All this was planned. Every bit of it up until now. That's why we're warning you to keep your eyes open. There's something big going to happen any day now. We know it is because we can see it. The planes over top of our heads, the equipment that's being moved from here to there, they all have, the, the, there's warning signs. Even people inside the military are seeing it. With the boots on the ground inside the military, they're saying the same thing. Something ain't right and something's about to happen. If you think the other day when all those phones went down and Verizon and AT&T and all these things, you think that's a coincidence? You think the U.S. bank system that just mysteriously just quit uh, showing their money is a coincidence? No. One day soon, your phones will go dead. Your banks will go bank bankrupt overnight. You won't see it coming. That's why we're telling you to get on the ark while you can, because this is going to happen. And the world's going to go to war really quick. It's going to catch you off guard. I'm telling you. People's going to say, oh, no, it's past. You know, we, we can we can go to Christmas and everything. They're going to be shocked. Because I'm telling you right now, a lot of these people don't watch what we watch. And we watch everything. And the evidence and the stuff that's coming out right now that people don't see, that's not coming out in mainstream media, and if they don't get it from mainstream media, they don't know what's happening. There's a lot of people on the ground saying something bad is about to happen. And the U.S. military and all the tanks that are moving from the West Coast to the East Coast is alarming. And I mean massive amount of artillery is on the move. You don't send that to protect Israel. You just don't. I'm talking billions and billions of dollars that's right now getting ready to go do something. And I am guarantee you right now it's no good. And I don't think it's just America. I think Britain, France, Germany, I think they're all in on it. And I think they're going to go after Russia. And I think it's going to be any day now. I really do. Because I can see the military movement. And I can see what they're doing. This has nothing to do with Iran and Israel. That's a front. It's all a front. Whatever they're planning, it's going to be soon. So keep your eyes up. All right. Erdogan threatens war between Israel and Turkey. Like I said, you got to watch this guy. <coughs> He's part of this end times. He's part of it. Turkish President Erdogan warned of war between Israel and Turkey in his speech at the opening of the parliament on Tuesday, saying the Israel leadership acting with the delirium of promised uh, land and with a purely religious uh, fantasism will be set in its sights on their homeland with Palestine and Lebanon. Erdogan said the Zionist Greater Israel Project includes Turkey and added Netanyahu government harbors a delusion, ambition, including Anatolia and pursues a utopia, which this guy's crazy. He's a Hitler, just totally nuts. And reveals these intentions on various occasions. I can tell you who his master is. He serves Lucifer. Just by hearing him talk. He sounds just like Hitler. Since October the 7th, every deployment increases the dimension of the threat a little bit more. Pointing to the proximity of the borders between Turkey and Israel, Erdogan hinted that the war was imminent between the two critical allies of the United States and the Middle East. Listen to this. These are warning signs. People in World War II didn't see the warning signs. We see them. Look, from Syria border to Haidai district, the Lebanese border is 170 kilometers away from the road, and Turkey is only 2.5 hour, hours away from Lebanon by car. In other words, occupation, terror, and aggression are right next to us. Erdogan made a similar statement last May saying, do not accept that Israel will stop in Gaza. If not, stop. The thing is, Israel wouldn't even be there if they wouldn't be firing missiles. Erdogan kind of leaves that out like Lucifer usually does. 
Backed by the United States and NATO, the Israel government is trying to escalate the genocide against the Palestinians. No, they started the war. Israel's finishing the war. He kind of leaves that out, too. Underline the danger of Israel's U.S.-backed war is aggression rapidly escalating into a conflict that can indulge the entire region. The Turkish ruling class also fears that U.S.-backed Israel war against neighboring Iran could damage its interest. Ankara and Tehran share the concern that the independent Kurdish state backed by the U.S. and Israel could be established in the region. Erdogan expressed these concerns in his speech. We see very clearly how Israel wants to establish small satellite structure in the north Iraq and Syria, using the separatist organizations as a pawn. Erdogan and the Turkish political elite before him have uh, been complicit to the U.S. and perilous aggression in the Middle East. How is this guy still in NATO? I'll never understand it. All right. The contributing to the dynamics in Iraq and Syria end the danger of the outbreak of regional war. Erdogan, who supported the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003, has been siding with the U.S. since and Israel since 2011 in a war for a regime change in Syria, which aims to overthrow the Iran and Hezbollah-backed President Bashir Assad. Similarly, similarly Erdogan's statement in his speech that uh, remaining silent, unresponsive, and even neutral towards Israel is, to put it bluntly, complicitly, complicitly to the, into the crime. As an example of utter Hypocrisy, NATO uh, member Turkey has been complacent in Israel's genocide in Gaza, despite the uh, rhetoric criticism has contributed to the escalation of the war. Although Erdogan has cut trade with Israel and the toughest of hit and toughened his rhetoric, U.S. bases in Turkey continue to support Israel. Turkey continues to intercede for the critical oil shipments to the country. There are even serious suspicions that Turkey has continued to trade with Israel via Palestine after the official end of the trade in Tel Aviv. On the other hand, Ankara continues to support Israel's genocidal war. That's what they're saying. So once again, this guy is a NATO member, and he's turned against Israel, which the Bible tells us they're all going to turn against them, including the United States. And as I said, the United States is no friend to Israel. They don't think they are. They're there for another reason, and that reason's Russia. Mark it down. Israel hit Russia base this morning. The escalation continues to grow. These are what we call birth pains. So while everybody else is watching dates, we're watching the birth pains in Israel. If I can get you to pay attention to that and get off of that stuff, I've done something. Israel's the time clock. Jerusalem is the main head. Okay? So we're watching Jerusalem and what's happening. Jerusalem's surrounded. Jesus said, when you see this happen, Look up. doesn't say wait to a specific time or feast. Now, it could happen here in the feast. It could happen anywhere. I'm just trying to get you to understand. The birth pains are increasing. They're getting faster. That means the baby's about to be born. Okay? That's what the Bible's talking about. That means we're not done here. It's only getting worse. That means whatever's about to take place is going to take place without everybody even catching it. A wind of it. For instance, right now. We got half the country on the East Coast in total destruction. Most people on Facebook and Twitter and all these people on TikTok, they could care less. They don't care, as long as it don't have anything to do with them. It shows you the mentality of people today. They don't care. They just don't. When I was younger, there was nothing like this. You help people. You went there. You raised food. We raised food at the radio station we had for years. We constantly build trucks to send the support of other places that got flooded because we've had that here. We understand that doesn't happen today. And if it does, the government tries to stop it. We're in a whole different ball game, people. Evil has complete control and God's give it to them because the tribulation is about to begin any time. Jacob's trouble is not slowing down. It's speeding up. And the more Israel gets themselves in a bind, the worse that's closer to the time of that to happen, and the 70th week will start back up. Remember, Daniel's 70th week is on pause. When Jesus goes, gets on the cross, he dies for me and you. That is pause from that point on. Now, when we leave, we go up, that clock will start to tick again. 
That's what we're seeing in the progress. It's in process right now of starting to happen. So don't take your eyes off the skies when I'm saying there's bad things coming. Nothing to fear, but understand whatever they're planning. And I promise you they are planning it because we can see it. And that's why I'm on here. And that's why you watch me. I can tell you whatever they're going to do. I don't know what it is, but they're going to do it. And it's going to be any time. So keep your eyes up. All right. Panic buying already happening amid dock workers and strikes. So we're already starting to see that on the East Coast. People buying up everything they can. So we're looking at 2020. Remember, we're looking at 2020 all over again. So it's going to be a lot worse this time. There are some reports of buying, uh, panic buying in the Hampton Roads areas. The U.S. dock workers went on strike. Viewers have sent photos of long lines in BJ's Wholesale uh, Club at Hampton. There are some items of toilet paper. Here we go with the toilet paper again. You might want to grab some before we get out of here. If you don't have enough, it looks like it's going to happen again. I didn't expect this uh, would be sold out. Disinfectant sprays, once again, almost like little CB, said Hampton Roads re uh, resident Elizabeth Hollis. So they're going after the toilet paper and the paper towels and the Lysol sprays and stuff like that. The gloves. Remember, this is a repeat from last time. All right. It's important to point out the strike is expected to have significant F, uh, effects on the global supply chain. It's way worse than the, even the reporting. Okay. All these docks from Texas all the way there. And don't think it's not planned. It's all planned. If I can just get that through your head, this is none of this is happening randomly. It's systematically to bring down the country. That's what it is. You think they just let 21 million people across the border for no reason and it wasn't going to come play out sometime? Come on. It was like, oh, it's a conspiracy. When you just hear it's a conspiracy, you better write it down. They have a plan, and it's all in conjunction. You think Puff Daddy or Sean Combs, whatever, him being arrested at that certain time, they could have got him any time. Why now? It's all in this. It's all part of it. Whatever they're getting ready to do, that all this stuff, that's how evil this is. People don't even truly know if they did, they'd all be on their knees if they truly knew what was coming for them. It's coming from every angle. Satan is making his move, and we can see it, and that's why God's coming to get us. So keep your eyes on Jesus. Trust only in Jesus because a lot of things are happening right now, right under your feet and right above your head, and you can't see them. I'm here warning you that whatever's going to happen is coming, and it's coming quickly. They're going to make their move before November. I can almost write it down that this is going to happen. We've had too many warnings. When we get that kind of warnings, something's in the air. And my job is to warn you that we're getting too much information from too many people, boots on the ground in these locations, military sources that we're getting that's on the ground. And they're all telling us the same thing. Something is in the air. And we can see it. We can warn you. The rest is up to you. There's nothing else we can do. Developing massing, massive solar flare could trigger auroras this week. There was a massive one. 9.1 came off this morning. Big. A massive solar flare was re, uh, ejected off from the sun Tuesday. It could trigger auroras that are visible in part of the United States. Now, they're saying it's X71. The one that came off this morning was a 9.1. The second strongest this far this was uh, blasted an X8.7 uh, on May the 14th. Now, the one this morning was 9.1 that came off this morning. So, the sun is still doing its thing. And this is going to trigger more earthquake activity. And we're seeing earthquakes in places we don't even understand. In places. And even if you listen to Earthmaster, he's, all, he's telling you, watch the cicadas and watch California because I'm telling you, it's becoming unstable. As I said, where Shelly lives, there's no earthquakes. She hardly ever feels them. And this morning, and the other day, they felt one. That means that whole shelf is moving. This has been prophesied all the way since the 50s, that eventually that shelf's going to break. And I think we're due. I think this is the big one. And I think it's any time. So keep your eyes on that. If you're on the West Coast, just be prepared that it's coming. Because it is coming. All right. Just one thing after another. All right. The air base attacked by airstrikes and naval 
salvos in Syria. That's what I was telling you about this morning. Now, reports are flooding in that unknown aircraft have attacked the Russian airbase in Syria. That's why I tell you, Syria is a hotbed. You've got Iran there. You've got Turkey. You've got Russia. You've got the United States. You have uh, Hezbollah there. You have, I mean, it's all these people together in one little place. And the battle was ongoing for about 55 minutes. It took place. Israel was suspected as the attacker. Not only did the unknown aircraft hit a warehouse on the base where an Iran, Iranian plane had just been unloaded. Reports are all indicate the salvos of the ship launched missiles began hitting the Russian base launched by ships in the Mediterranean Sea. To my knowledge, the United States and NATO have, uh, uh, NATO have vessels in that part of the Mediterranean. Info is coming in uh, fast, but the airstrikes are carried out by Israel. And the naval missiles by U.S., NATO, and World War III has just begun. More as I get it. The Syrian media reports that Syrian and Russian air fences have been actively engaging hostile targets for about 50 minutes. Russian-operated <clears throat> airbase was among the targets with over 50 projectiles reportedly intercepted. Large fires and have been broken out near uh, something with firefighting crews dispatched to the area. Israel is reportedly hitting terrorist targets in western Syria. Uh, so far, they've hit the Terakira, Tartus, home ports of the Russian military flotilla. Also, the Russian airbase, the Russian stockpile there is exploding. Uh, Russian air fences are reportedly firing at Russian uh, Israel aircraft. The strikes occurred an hour this uh, after the arrival of the Iran plane belonging to Qassam Fars airline. The source of the bombing is not yet confirmed, but has reportedly involved 30 missiles fired from naval battleships between 355 and 441. So, World War Three. Is going to come out of nowhere. It's still brewing. While everybody else has got their minds everywhere else but where it needs to be, this stuff is happening right under them. I'm here to tell you, whatever's about to escalate is going to escalate quick when it does. Keep your eyes on Jesus and Jesus alone. I want to thank you all for all your prayers for me and Shelly and all of us, okay? We're all in this together. We're one big family. We're just trying to get home. Me and Shelly... All of us, we're trying to get home to each other so we can all be with each other. Well, we all have the same thing. We want to get up there with the Lord and get with you guys. That's that's where we're going. That's where we want to be, okay? So we're going to keep chugging, as I said, and keep trying to get people on the ark. We know we don't have, we have limited time. I do believe my word, not Jesus, what I believe a disaster is going to happen this month. It's a bad one. And I believe that disaster is what gets us out of here. I don't know what it is. But I'm just, I, everything I've ever seen of October, it's always something really bad happens in it. We've already seen that what happened last year. And I think this is the anniversary comes up what? Here in a couple of days. I think whatever they're planning, they're going to do it now. They're not going to wait. They're, they're going to, they're waiting. And I think the restrainers keeping it propelled or held down until we get out of here. And I think when we leave, and that's any day now, we go and then the world's just going to be on fire. Too many people seen it. So keep your eyes on Jesus and Jesus alone. Trust the gospel. First Corinthians 15, one through four. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Have faith. Jesus is coming. He is coming. Don't be fooled. Get out of the hype of everybody watching these certain times. Get out of that hype. Trust Jesus and watch Israel. They are the timepiece. They are the clock. And I will keep you updated until we're out of here and we're all home together and we don't have to do this anymore. We're watching Israel. And that's where you need to keep your eyes because there is your money pot. That. And the second thing is watch California. Israel, California. Keep your eyes on them. From this point on, don't take your eyes off. And you're going to know how close we are. Paul said you'll know. We know we're there. We know we're in the last minutes here. You better get excited because Jesus is going to part those clouds any day now. I'm telling you. You can call me crazy. Call me names. I don't care what you say, but I'm going home because I know he's coming. And you better be ready. If you're lost, 
Get on that boat today. Don't wait another day. Okay? We don't want to see anybody left here. It's going to be a horrible place to be once we're gone. Okay? I want to thank all of you all that uh, donated through PayPal, the Super Stickers, and the ones who don't buy me coffees. What we're doing is taking that, just getting Bibles out as much as we can for the Tribulation Saints because we know that's what's coming. We know it's any day now. So we're trying to distri- dis- distribute as many Bibles out there as possible to people that hopefully they get into the right hands and they're in the right places. And I think that's what God's doing right now is getting those Bibles out to everywhere that needs to be. So when we leave, they're going to be in good hands for the Tribulation Saints, okay? Now, remember, we have Tom Cody and his Left Behind video. That is in the description box. Make sure that if you want to leave something for the Left Behind, there's that. Tom Cody and uh, Brother Tyler there at uh, Generation 2434. Uh, he did a great program the other night, and Brother Tom always does an excellent program every day. And Of course, you have your Kim Fishers. You have your GGs there at Blue Heaven. She's been keeping everybody up to date with what's going on. And news also, and uh, Sister Lisa is always keeping everybody informed of what's going on to see these birth pains, okay? And that's what we're right now doing. We're showing you that the birth pains are increasing. And that's what's important right now. So we can take that. We know that whatever is happening is truly happening. Now, Satan's going to want to distract you at this moment. He's going to want you to take your guard down. He's going to want you to get disappointed. That's what he wants. That's why he does that stuff. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. We're there because Israel, the birth pains are increasing. Know what to watch and keep that in front of you. It's all right to watch days. It's all right. Right now is a big time. This is trumpets. And this is in the day that no one knows the day and the hour. We're in it. And it could happen here. We don't know. God's never given it to me. And he never will. That's why I don't really specifically do that. I watch Israel because that's what I've been taught since I was a kid. And I will continue to watch Israel, and I will continue to support them no matter who hates me and who comes against me. I will support Israel to the very last breath. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.